sometimes when you're dealing with a normal model, you have to work backwards. Uh, instead of getting a value, changing it into a z-score, and then finding the area under the curve that corresponds to that z-score, you're given a z-score, and you have to change it into an x-value. This is just really just an algebra problem. Um, let's keep in mind that our formula for z-scores is z equals x minus mu, which is the mean, divided by standard deviation, sigma. So <clears throat> as I read through this, I'm going to highlight some things. It says the monthly utility bills in a city are normally distributed. And since they're normally distributed, that tells me that I can use z-scores um, with a mean of $70 and a standard deviation of $8. Find the x value that corresponds to a z-score of negative 0.75. So if you look at this, I know everything in this formula except for x. I know that mu, the mean, is equal to 70. I know that sigma, the standard deviation, is equal to 8. And I know that the z-score that I'm concerned with is negative 0.75. Now all I have to do is plug these three uh, values into my formula and solve for x. This is just algebra. So the z is negative 0.75, which is equal to x minus mu, which is 70, divided by the standard deviation, which is 8. And now I just need to do a little bit of algebra. <laughs> I'm going to multiply by 8 on both sides. When I do that, these 8s will reduce out. And I now have, if I come over here, 8 times negative 0.75 is equal to negative 6. And that's equal to x minus 70. And now if I add 70 to both sides of my equation, I end up finding that my value of x is equal to negative 6 plus 70, which is 64. So if I want to answer this question, I would want to use a complete sentence, since this is a word problem. The question says, find the value that corresponds to the z-score of negative 0.75. So I could say, the value that corresponds to the z-score of negative 0.75 is 64, and in this case, $64. <clears throat> Since that's the units, 60, we're, the units that we're using is money, so $64 is what I would want to go with. And there we go. That's it. That's how you can find the value of x if you are given a z-score. It's basically just algebra.